Hello and welcome to the DAX commentary for Wednesday the 12th of December 2018. This is the last day that I'm actively trading this year because of other work commitments and uh, the Christmas holiday arrangements. So what we're looking at here is the daily DAX and as you can see since the beginning of December shown here at point A the DAX has sold off quite strongly and has produced a very straightforward ABC pattern which I've marked up and if price does manage to get back up to the 11104 level here as shown by the daily equidistant zone then there could be some sell opportunities in this region here. Okay now we're looking at the one minute and five minute time frames for the DAX and I've not taken any trades this morning though I have traded uh, to some degree but I've had a few other things on and I just want to go through a couple of the setups that um, have occurred and that, that and they were good setups they did conform to our ABC trading edge and one particular setup I want to draw attention to is an M15 map over here that I um, I marked up well in advance but failed to execute so this is very much a, a, a self journaling feedback video for my uh, my own benefit as well but I hope anybody watching this may also find it useful as well okay what we have here is the 7 a.m. candle this morning when the European traders came online and at that point price moved up tested yesterday's high shown here by the key intraday level and then came back down tested it again to form what we would call a micro double top because it's the one minute time frame we're looking at and then price began to sell off gradually it came down through the hourly bear channel and the daily mid bull channel here and at 8 a.m the London traders came on board here and price continued to sell off now what I did in real time was I marked up a point A taken from the yesterday's high and point B was formed down here at the hourly mid uh, line from the hourly equidistant uh, zones at 10 8 14 this formed point B and a lower low just above the daily level here of 10808 which we were just looking at on the daily time frame and what I did I marked up a point C up here as a potential sell opportunity when price retraced to the hourly bear channel and the daily mid bull channel and what we had in play was the M15 moving average which is shown here by this thick black line and you can see that I've marked up the golden zone here between the 50 and 61.8 levels and the 61.8 level was perfectly confluent with this with this region here and the M15 moving average however it moved up moved up through the M1 map here in blue which was not a, a valid trade it was not good value at all because of the context but when price did move up to meet the five minute moving average shown here in red it was also confluent with the top of the five minute zone here at 10.849 or 10.850 and it did cause price to um, turn around and move back down and if you fancy that there was a potential to our trade in there with good timing using the trade tool the 2R would have come in around here Now the reason I passed on that trade is because I'd already marked up the M15 map that I've just described now and I didn't want to take this trade and then be stopped out immediately because price wanted to move on up and take on the, um, the M15 map. What it did form was, a, was an inner Fibcon within the outer Fibcon here. This is the outer Fibcon A, B, C. But if I mark up the inner Fibcon, if 
you can see that we had a higher high in the context of the setup So price moved up, we had the point A here, point B, the higher high in the context of the time frame, and then price moved back down to the golden zone, point C perfectly at 10828. And then price moved on back up to then form the golden zone M15 map that I've marked up there. So what we had was a very good out of Fibcon, A, B, C. But within that, we also had a very good inner Fibcon, point A, point B, point C. And both of them, in answer to the question, can I see the A, B, C with excellent role reversal, produced the answer of yes, because you can see here, A, B, C, when we look left, we had good row reversal structure here. When we look at the pins and the wicks of the candles here, and also in the outer Fibcon, A, B, C. And when we look left, over here, we had some good row reversal structure. So both of the setups were very good, but the one that I was targeting was the M15 Mab up here. Now, I failed to take this trade. I should have. I took myself out of it and this is why I want to do this video very much as a, as a reminder to myself of how important it is to trust structure, particularly the grid structure. We had in place as for Confluence the daily mid bull channel, the hourly bear channel, the 61.8 level there at 10858 and also the M15 or the 15 minute moving average, which is shown by the black line as to its location, which we'll, we'll cross reference now on the five minute chart in a minute. So this really was a tick, tick, tick trade. And I should have taken it, but I didn't. And this is where I need to work on my consistency because the, the setup was uh, good enough, ticked enough of the boxes to fall into the category of a must take trade. Because when we're targeting to our setups, we only need to be right 50% of the time to be in profit. So with the trade tool there, you can see the 2R would have come in down here near the bottom of the five minute zone here at 10.833. So this was a good sell setup with a good 2R built into it. So let's now have a look at this setup on the five minute chart.
So when we look at the A, B, C, you can see here the red line here shows the, the 15 minute moving average. Price came up. There's the five minute map shown in blue that we just looked at. Price came back down. We also know there's an A, B, C there. And when we look left at the row reversal, we can see over here, there's excellent support for this being a great sell zone here when price first moved back up to it after the break below it. You can see here the, the um, hourly bear channel was acting as resistance there. Price moved above it, pulled back down, and then came through it, briefly moved back up, and then sold off. And then there was the sell opportunity there, which is the one that I failed to take. So structurally, that was a great sell M15 map. Over here is a five minute map that took place late yesterday, where we have another great A, B, and point C. The blue line is the five minute moving average, and you can see that was a great sell trade. So we're looking at two good sell setups. One was the five minute map from yesterday. And this one here this morning, structurally identical. It's just it was the 15 minute map in red that was the category of the trade. So switching back to the one minute chart, you can see that after price um, responded to the M15 map, it sold off back down into our uh, golden zone here from the inner Fibcon and then moved up strongly and this time moved through this region here and produced two micro M1 maps as price began to move on up. And at the moment it has uh, broken through the hourly bear channel there in red uh, briefly and failed to hold above it and has since come down. But let's have a little look at the micro maps here Now, I wasn't trading during this period, but you can see here we do have a point A, point B, and the retrace back down to yesterday's high, the top of the five minute equidistant zone at 10,886, and the one minute moving average there. Produced an excellent M1 micro map. Okay, I've marked up this micro map with the A, B, C uh, pattern there and highlighted it just to show it in its completeness. And I've also uh, noted here that also uh, when price sold off from the high, it came back down to yesterday's high. And look what we have uh, M5 buy map here in the same golden zone at yesterday's high and price has moved on uh, back up. So at the moment, it is a short term bullish period. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this could be a price making its way back up to the golden zone on the daily time frame. Here it is here, just a wee reminder, there's the golden zone that I mentioned at the start of the video. So this is today's candle here, this, uh, this bullish candle here in blue where price has moved up, did come down at the beginning of the session to just above the 10,808 that I mentioned earlier and has since moved on back up. 
So that's it for today's uh, market commentary. But a quick recap, you can see that at 7 a.m. we had the double top of the previous week's, yesterday's high rather. Then price sold off down through the grid structure here. We had the London open at 8 a.m. and we had the A, B, C out of Fibcon or out of MAB, out of 15 minute MAB. But within it, we also had the inner Fibcon, the A, B, C before price moved up, sold off back down to this golden zone and then moved up strongly and provided a decent M1 micro map once price broke back above yesterday's high, offering a buy opportunity here. Then when it failed to hold above the daily bull channel here, it sold off quite strongly, but found support at yesterday's high and the five minute moving average shown in red to produce an M5 buy map. I hope you found this video um, informative and instructive. It is very much a self journaling one for me today to remind me of the importance of marking up the ABC patterns, asking the question, can I see the ABC with excellent role reversal? And on all three of these setups here, here and here, the answer is yes to that question when you look left. The important thing as a trader is to be consistent and execute each trade, understanding that they're not all gonna win. And when we're looking for two hour setups, then we only need to be right 40 to 50% of the time to result in a positive equity curve. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video.